Thursday, pickle day. <laughs> and I was trying to figure out where I had left off exactly with footage before I started editing and realized that this was the 50th video in the pickle series. So in light of that, I thought it might be kind of fun to take a peek, a little snip from each video and take a peek back of just how far old pickle has come, even though we have just that much to go and more. So before we uh, start fabbing, well, cutting, fabricating, welding in like we've been doing for a while, let's take a look back at some of my favorite times I'm working on old pickle the bus. Did a little picking today. It'll buff out, I'm sure. Be fine. Check that out. Today's task, dad is on his way here. We are gonna tag team this guy. If you'll notice, I've pointed this out before, but the last time this thing was plated was 1968. We are in 2018 and it is December the 29th. So if I wanna make this thing run in its 50 year anniversary, that has to be in the next couple of days. Ugh. I guess so. Ha! Ah! That's it, I'm gone. <laughs> One more time. Get up there. That's it. That's a clean engine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 50 years. I see with a good coat of wax, that is gonna look amazing. I can't believe the original paint is as good as it is underneath there. Incredible. And this paint's really in great shape. Let me put that uh, gate down. I'll show you what the back of it looks like. So, I have found that if you just scrape on the back where it's kind of flaking off, find a spot kind of like that. If you can get under that, it comes off really easy. And then you can just take a little bit of steel wool. But it comes off pretty easily. So that's kind of my plan for the back. Just thought I should mention, in case you didn't know, and you haven't watched any of the other videos, Pickle got his name from my then three-year-old son. And so uh, we tend to stick with things when a kid names them, so. Pickle it is. Well, that looks pretty awesome on there. <laughs> if anybody happens to be missing uh, the other half to their uh, 1970 uh, shoes, these definitely are not my size and uh, <laughs> not my style. <laughs> I'm going to have to make something out of that. I can't let that go. It's too funny. See what we can come up with. So right here is the latch that's on the door. This is the latch that's on the truck. If I can get that to pop past that, we can get this door open. So, let's just see we can make that happen. That is definitely our issue. Ha! 
How do you like me now? I'm glad I got that. I was just getting ready to uh, pick up all my tools. Check out that mirror. <laughs> Won't be removing that guy. Well, we had our first casualty. I laid that punch that I used to take the door handle off, laid it right up here. What are the chances? It rolled perfectly straight down into the defrost. And so it is laying somewhere up inside this defrost. Can you believe that? It was my good punch, too. Oh, that's coming along nice. Let me keep doing that and I'll turn it back on. probably are not going to be able to see how good that looks. You can see the difference between there and there. I plan to just leave those rust areas there and just wax them like I did. Here's the difference. Pretty amazing. It's gonna look really good. So today's the day. Heat index of 108. Today's the day I've decided to move old pickle. So that means I gotta make a hole first for that to come back. And I'm gonna attempt to just bring it straight back. There's really not anything solid to bolt to. So probably just go to the axle and run a toe strap there. Probably try and get some air in those tires. And probably put a ramp board or something down to help it kind of make the step up. Oh, pickle. I love it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Get my workout today. I counted the layers of paint that were on it. There are seven layers of paint. And I will say that that new graffiti remover the goof off that's the graffiti kind and I've treated it one time I've gone over this uh, so there's the the three layers of paint and then the remaining layers and this back corner does not have the yellow that the deck lid had the deck lid had a layer of yellow paint on it so I don't know if it came off of another vehicle uh, or not but and because the original paint is an enamel base this goof off doesn't tend to uh, or doesn't seem to affect that paint like it does the other stuff that's on top of it so that comes off real easy and what, again what I'm using is Pro Strength Graffiti Remover. All right, you ready for it? Gone. All of you who are screaming didn't scream loud enough. It's gone. Let's see if we can get those tail lights off of there. These are Fords. I believe these are Fairlane. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they left. From what I can tell, they left the original uh, Volkswagen hole. I don't think they cut it out any bigger. But those gotta go. I have reached a point where I can't take them anymore. So let's see if we can get both of those tail lights out of there. Well, I don't know what your feelings are, but getting those tail lights off of there. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. And I haven't waxed 
or done anything to the side and it's I can't believe how shiny it is these vents are shiny too that's crazy so that's just being washed off let's put a little bit of oil on it see what happens well, we're no silk purse yet, but we are well on our way to a burlap bag. So, you know, again, I say I only have about 15 years left of work on this thing, but if I could get the rest of the truck to look that good, I'd be totally happy with that. here just a second okay I see it all right it's gonna be loud just for a second together. You ready? Okay, you got to pull. You got to pull. You pull right here. You got it? Now hold on. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, you ready? Okay, pull on it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, we got to go down. See, we're hitting up there. Got to drop it down just a little bit. All right, are we clear? Nope, we got to come down a little bit more. And this jack has a safety on it. So hang on. I gotta drop the safety down. Hang on, let me get both hands down there. All right, ready? We're gonna lower it. You got a hold of it? Okay, here it comes. Coming down just a little bit. Okay, good job. Now help me pull backwards on it. Pull on the engine just real gently. Oh, pull backwards. Uh-oh. What are we hanging up on? Oh, that's okay. All right. There he is. There he is. There. And there's that pair of vice grips on the clutch cable. It's not going to just come out of there, is it? What do you think? But of course not, it wasn't. Let's see, probably could come forward just a little bit more on the jack. Eh, it feels pretty balanced. Let's see if we can dump it. drop it down until the uh, gearboxes are sitting or the drums are sitting down. 
then we know we're stable. All right. Oh my goodness. That is a glorious sight. That's gonna work. Sweet! This is so awesome. A little on the sketchy side. Okay, it's a lot on the sketchy side, but it's only gonna be that way temporarily. money falling out of that bus. Well, it'll have to be a lot more than that. Before this thing flips over all the way, I have to get this gas tank out of here. And it has gas in it. Let's see how much it has in it. We got a lot of that out of there, but I just want you to see. This stuff is like orange. Looks like oil. Nasty. There it goes. Hopefully there's not more than five gallons in there. Mama? Uh-huh. Yeah? I just made it up. Oh, you did? So, I just made the story up. I can write it for a real book. So, I'll know it in the book. How to build a rotisserie? No, no. How to buy one. Oh. Mama, do you... So, I'm gonna... This time I'm gonna melt it right here and kind of, kind of like right here. Mm -hmm. I did that for you. Okay. Yeah, I probably should have left that alone. <laughs> it's flapping in the breeze. I have to tack a little weld on that sucker if I can find anything to weld to. There you go. Nice, huh? <laughs> I just tucked tucked it up under right there. I think that'll hold it for now. Can I spin with it? I want to spin with it. Turn it upside, turn it on its side again, and I want to spin with it. Now you crank it. Good job. Let's go take a look now and see what it looks like. All right. Oh, give me one more. Can you give me one more? Ah, good job. Okay, let's come check it out. I think that's about right, don't you? That looks that's pretty good. Perfect. Good deal. Thumbs up, pal. High five. Let's go take a shower. All right. tight. Going from the inside. Let's hope it doesn't fall because I'm going to be under it.
let's hope and pray we fit up here. Let me hammer that in and I'll give you a peek. Well, I think that's a pretty good fit. <laughs> wow. it to rust well there's that all cleaned up kind of gone around with the grinder just cleaned up the edges a little bit made it ready for to receive a piece of metal once we're ready to put that in there you can see the paint color is written in here it says blau b l a u it's the german for blue so that's written in there a keen-eyed youtuber caught it also pretty cool that that's in there all the little neat things like that make up for some of this <laughs> that is not so neat. Well, with a little fine tuning with the grinder, this is what I've come up with. It fits pretty well in there. I think it'll be just fine once we get that all welded up. You won't even notice. Well, that is far from perfect, but it is uh, the right shape, and I think it's strong, so I'm not worried about it. Wish I could get the camera in there to show you. It really good penetration all the way around, so I think we're in pretty good shape, even where the torsion tube is. I'm gonna call that a win. Now let's jump up here and see what kind of awesomeness we're going to get into up here. So I'm going to do my best, like I said, to make this out of one piece. We're going to draw with some uh, what am I trying to say here? Some cardstock, weight, paper. Make a pattern right here. Well, here's what I came up with for that piece. Got a little, uh, little scissor happy there at the edge, but we know that's, uh, four by four there. Oops. Everything else looks like it's lining up pretty good. I think it might be a little bit fat right here as far as how, how far we are this way. We'll know here in a second when I throw it on a piece of uh, 2x4 steel and see how that looks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and squirrels, here's what I've come up with for our part. I think, uh, I think that'll do us just fine. Why don't we take it out there and just make sure it still fits? That would, that would, st <laughs> that would stink, wouldn't it? Take it out there and it doesn't fit. We hope it still lines up. Now, I'd say that's as perfect a fit as I can get in this shop. Bring you over here where you can take a peek. And obviously we'll tack it and then adjust it and then tack it and adjust it before we weld it, permanent weld it in. That looks pretty nice. And those line up really well right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. And again, I mentioned before that piece is not lined up because this is bent in. So I'll just bend that out, make it line up. So I took the gas door off the bus and I do not have a church key. They call it a church key. Uh, it's kind of shaped like something we all have seen at some point. It's a tapered square. So you know where I'm going with this. Some of you are following along. Looks kind of like one of those. At least to me it did. So this was a little bit longer. I filed, ground the end of it off so it would go in there and fit snug. 
Yeah, I think I need to perfect it just a little bit, but it works. It works actually really well. All right, let's get that paint off of there. Only <laughs> six more layers to go. I'm happy with that. I think that'll do just fine. There's a few little places along the edges where I need to go in and kind of clean that up a little bit more, but got to be careful on the edges because you take it down to <laughs> take it down to bare metal real quick. Dropped a little oil in there. Like butter. That's seen better days. Hmm. <laughs> And yes, I know, I can go on a website and I can buy a new horn. I can do better than that. I can drive 15 minutes or so to my parents' place and I can get one of these. Because my dad, I'm sure, has one in our collection. But why would I do that? But can it play jingle bells? <laughs> I have no idea. I, I have honestly no clue uh, why this big glob is welded here. Uh, it's something welded over here. <laughs> it's all just really hodgepodge. The uh, metal on the inside has been turned up and lapped over with Bondo. But since we have the frame solid now, we can kind of start taking some of this flooring out of there. That was pretty much probably what was holding the bus together before I kind of shirred up the structure underneath. You can see the light now, can't you? go ahead and finish it out and I did not finish it out like I had initially thought I would which was cut down the middle and trying to take it out in full sections. I'm not saving those cross members so there's absolutely zero point in trying to uh, chisel that away. By the way this bus didn't shift at all cutting all that out so I really don't think it was probably holding as much as we thought or as I thought but you never know I mean this thing had no frame under it. Needs a little trimming up at the top, but that'll look good hanging on the wall. So he went on a little bit of a weight loss program. <laughs> Ooh, it might hit you in the face. Be careful. Oh! oh. What? I made it out! So much for keeping that. That part solid, huh? Well, looks okay. A lot less to work around now. Sweet.
Let's see if we can get it to line up. The little break or uh, press I made worked fantastic. I just wish I could have got one where it would not wrinkle the end of it. But it's just so close to the end, it was just too hard to make for such a silly little piece. I think that's going to work, though. Everything's stitched now. All the corners are stitched. And I've gone all the way around, took out the clamps, and stitched around on either side of those. Uh, it's it's pretty good. I've just tried to go through very gingerly. You now probably could go up a little bit in wire size, but we'll just go ahead and finish it out with what we've got in there. But right along this side here, tried to go in and start adding you know stitches every half inch or so. So we have six of those cut to that length, so we should have enough. The uh, sixth one is outside the bus. So these should work, I think. They're going to be too long, but I'll go move that wood and we can just shove them through the, uh, <laughs> through the missing section of the bus there. That should work fine. It's all fine. It'll be fine. It's all fine. You ever seen a Volkswagen with straight pipes? Yeah, me neither. Now you have. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, that's kind of starting to look like something. sills in there. What do you say? Well, folks, as you can see, <laughs> it sure didn't take very long for the conditions to decline. Welcome to the Midwest, folks. 60 degrees one day, minus nine the next, and 10 inches of snow on the ground. So, yep, that's what we're dealing with here. So I am going to uh, wait on putting those sills in until a, a warmer day. I did take a Sharpie and mark where they go. So I think I have those pretty well ready to go. I will say this, I am stunned, absolutely stunned. Everything is lining up pretty straight, pretty square. I can't believe it. So yeah, I guess all that measuring is paying off now. We'll go, it'll, it'll be noticeable on the outside. Everything will be perfect underneath and then when you go to Go to put it, the outside stuff on is where it's going to be off. <laughs> Let's hope not, but anyway. So we'll be back next week with more content on Pickle the Bus and hopefully be able to keep the series going for a while like we did before. Life is really full, I wouldn't want it any fuller, but uh, we've got time now for Old Pickle, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. I appreciate you being here. We'll see you next week. <laughs>